Real quick, I'm going to show you guys how to export your song out of Studio One or save it. Some even call it bouncing it, but Studio One calls it exporting. So first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your looper bar is set from the start to the end. And if you guys don't know how to use a looper bar, it's right up here, not down here, right here. And bring it all the way over and drag it to the end of your song. Make sure, mine has echoes, but just make sure that yours is right at the end of your song. And of course, you'll be more zoomed in than I am. And then uh, go to song and go to export mix down. And then you choose where you want it to save the folder. So downloads or whatever. And then you hit um, select folder. You title the song. Uh huh. You will publish if you wanted to to SoundCloud or Notion. And then um, that's another thing in itself. I'm not going to teach that right now. And then um, here's MP3 format, or you can do Wave, whatever your Studio One version allows you. And then, uh, but Wave, Wave is a bigger file, but it's higher quality, so it has more megabytes than MP3. But MP3 is still high quality and it's a lot smaller, it's like four or five megabytes, if that. And then uh, leave all that the same, but this could be 92 or 320, that's fine, but leave this the same and leave it on cons constant. And then export range and in between loop, and then because uh, that's what we just did, and then leave this the same on main, and then make sure right tempo's on and close after export. Hit OK. And now, as you can see, it's doing it and it goes pretty fast and as soon as it's done it'll pop up in your music folder so now you can drag it on your phone so like you could plug in your phone and um, transfer the file so you'll have it on your phone or you can email it to yourself go to Gmail and send an attachment to your email send it to yourself and then save it and it'll go straight to your phone your phone's music player and um, you could also upload it if you're trying to put it on uh, like Spotify or something like that. Just go through Fiverr and, you know, pay somebody to make a cover or you can make your own cover through Canva for free. I go to Canva.com or you can use your phone, whatever app you have. And then uh, the way you associate that is let's say you upload it on SoundCloud. Then like you could just put the picture there and then you know where the song file is too put that up and then you just give it the title or you can go through like if you want to put it on um, like uh, Spotify and iTunes and all that stuff the official way then whatever your distribution company is which is you know I did another video on that so uh, whatever your distribution company is you would do the same steps through them you just have to pay them there it is so I just want to show you guys real quick how to do that if you found this helpful go ahead and like and comment and uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I appreciate it a lot. Signing out. Peace. Dropping content weekly. I ain't stopping. Sean Zill, say my name. Run it up. 100K.